Hi, Britt here with another Brit Try Samples. Today we are trying the Milk Kush Mascara. Um, I don't need to give my disclaimer because it's like a pretty decently sized product, so it's in its mascara. There's, you don't need to, you know. Um, I made the mistake of accidentally starting to put mascara on with my regular mascara, which is the uh, Benefit Benefit Roller Lash, and then immediately was like, oh no, I wanted to fill that sample. So yeah, here I am. Um, my bottom lashes are done, but I don't f I feel don't feel like the bottom lashes are really good test of the product. So this is yeah, this is kind of a, a cult classic, I think, the Kush mascara. It's got a big old fat wand. It seems to contain a lot of product. So I might have messed up my possibilities of getting a good review on this side because I did start using the roller lash, which is a great mascara. Kind of overpriced. I want like a drugstore equivalent that has the exact same curved brush with the grippy little bits. Anyways, okay, so we're gonna go in. The bristles look, they don't look like silicone, they look like a brush bristle. Uh, okay, we're gonna go in, just kind of twist it through our lashes. Not bad. And I'm just gonna do that twist and shave, twist and shave. Now again, I might, like I say, I might have messed up my chances because I started using the other mascara. But, I don't know, I'm really trying to get my tips, but it doesn't, it must be like a, more of a volumizing than a lengthening formula. Because it's not super great at coating all the way to the tip of my lashes. Like fully, it just kind of stops at the bottom and then doesn't really disperse upwards. So that's what I got on that eye. I mean, it's not like it looks like fat or anything. Like, I hate when you get like the spider web lashes. Like, this isn't so bad. It looks worse on camera because the quality is garbage. But I like to trust me, they don't look spidery. They're not clumped together too badly. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know. That's the first eye, but again, like I have the roller lash on it. But just like a couple of coats just at the base of the lashes to start doing the lifting thing. I hadn't run it fully through my lashes yet. So we're gonna go into the bare lashes side. This is actually a better test in terms of lifting because this, my lashes on this side are pushed down a bit more than my lashes are on this side. And I don't like to use eyelash curlers because they stress me out. So, I'm gonna go in, twist and shake it through. Yeah, like it's really volumizing, but not lifting or coating all the way to the ends. It's like separating them nicely, but not necessarily depositing product throughout them. Like maybe very, very thinly, but nothing really right home about. Like my Benefit Roller Lash really makes my lashes look like extended and long and lifted. And this is just kind of uh, eh. It's not it's not screaming my name. Well, that's all I really have to say about that. <laughs> eh. It separated them, very volumizing, sort of thickening, which is nice. But I like I like it when my lashes look elongated as well. Anyways, that's all I really have to say about that. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> Talk to you later. Hi! Editing me here. Um, so I just kind of wanted to come in and add... It's been a little while since I filmed this video, and I've been using this mascara, actually, pretty religiously, like, almost interchangeably with the roller lash, especially on days that I don't put heavy eyeliner. Um, this mascara is pretty darn good. I kind of feel bad that I knocked it so much whenever I first put it on. Um, I did also say at one point in the video that bottom lashes aren't a good uh, sign of a good um, mascara. But I kind of disagree with myself there a little bit, because what it does show is transfer. Um, in an upcoming video I try a different mascara, and my editing me segment at the end is literally just like, 
this is, I'm not using this anymore. It transferred all over my eyes. It was just, I had raccoon eyes, like, terribly. Um, but this mascara is great. I actually really, really like it. It fills my eyelashes in. It makes, it's really voluminous. Um, in terms of lengthening, not so much. I kind of struggle with getting them to look super, super long. But they make them look really full and really nice. Um, they're, like I say, there's no transferring throughout the day. I'm not waking up, or, uh, waking up. I'm not coming home from work with raccoon eyes, which is, uh, a really nice thing. So yeah, so I just want kind of wanted to come in and say, uh, yeah, I am pro Milk Kush Mascara, and I am considering buying myself a full size at some point when I'm out of this trial size. But, I don't know. When it comes to the real lengthening and curling and everything like that, it's, it's I've yet to find anything better than my roller lash. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to come in and say that. Hope y'all are having a good one. Take care. Bye.